Oh boy, we gotta talk about Steel Series again. Look, this time, mm, it's another bad one. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm really not though, because it's not my. I gotta make a video. I'm gonna record that actually right after this video. I gotta make a video telling Steel Series exactly what I want to see. I don't know if they're listening to me. Probably not. It's fine. But um, just as a customer, it feels bad. Like it feels really bad. I feel like we're just like being ignored. Maybe they just don't have clear direction. So I'm gonna give them a clear direction in another video. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the SteelSeries Rival 5. This is a very good shaped mouse. I actually love the shape quite a bit. It reminds me a lot of the Rival 600, but it's not nearly as good as the Rival 600. Even though it is a lot lighter, weighing about 85 grams, it's a ton lighter and a lot more usable by today's standards. That does not mean everything. And just because it's lighter weight doesn't make it a better mouse. So basically SteelSeries took the shape of the Rival 600 and 650. Well, the shape feels good, but the functions and features that made the Rival 600 and 650 special, like having three side buttons, well, they kind of just messed it up entirely. Number one, the front mouse button, or should I say the third mouse button is just way too far forward on the side of the mouse. It is just really hard to reach and I have pretty big hands too. My hands are about 20 by nine and a half centimeters. And I find it really hard for my thumb to just naturally rest on that front mouse button. That button is completely useless to me. It's nice they have this little pad for your thumb to rest on, but when you try to press this mouse button here, it pretty much just doesn't work ergonomically at all. So I don't recommend actually using this button here at all. Next, this little switcher right here. Well, I don't know. I, I just think that thing is entirely useless. Again, it's not ergonomic at all. And if this shape really reckons for an ergo grip, I don't really know where I would ever use that in game, in a panic situation. I, not really a panic situ situation, but more so a reaction situation. It's not very good. The other two side buttons I find to be okay. They are just a little bit high up for me, but they are still usable. But let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the mouse real quick. So the mouse is weighing in at about 88 grams on my scale, which is a little bit more than what they said is 85, but I'm pretty sure it's 85 without the cable. 88 with the cable, it's fine, it works, I can use it, it's not my preference, but it is lighter than everything else that uh, SteelSeries has released up until this point with this kind of size and shape. The sensor on this mouse is the True Move Air, which I found zero problems with in terms of tracking during gameplay. I can actually play pretty well with this mouse. It's just those side buttons again, do nothing for me. And the clicks are rated up to 80 million. Here's a quick sound test so you guys can listen for yourself. In terms of the scroll wheel, this is pretty much the same scroll wheel that you'll find on a lot of the other Steel Series mice that are very similar to this shape, so I don't have any issues there. It's really smooth, really tactile, and a pretty light press as well. So, Steel Series, just make the rival 600 and 650 lighter weight. That's all you have to do with this shape. This shape is pretty much perfect, but this rival 5, I, I don't know who I would recommend this mouse to at all. Even if I was gonna recommend it purely for having more side buttons, which I know a lot of us in the game community really want. Even if I was to recommend it for that, because the front side button is just not ergonomic at all, and the top one kind of in that same boat, I can't recommend it to somebody for that, I just can't. So I don't really know who this mouse is for. The cable is quite junk. So you're not really leaving me anywhere to go with this product. I don't know who this is for. Any of you guys in the comments, if you think this is for you, tell me why you would pick this mouse over literally anything else. Just tell me why, because it's pretty comfortable. Yes. Other than that, the features aren't that good. I'll leave a link in the description if you really want to buy it for yourself, but I can't say that I recommend it. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy, feel free to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel as well. We will be talking about what I want to see from Steel Series in the future. So yeah, be sure to stay tuned for that. Ah, I think I might have to return this one. I think I might have to, because I just can't justify keeping this product. It's just bad. It is. Sorry, Steel Series. Try again next time. Also, I am fully aware that they came out with those new SteelSeries Prime Series mice. I'm debating on picking one up. They look pretty good, but um, I don't know. So, something's telling me that it's just not the one that I'm looking for. 
so I might pass on it. I'm not sure. Tell me if you guys want to see a review of one of those new Prime Series mice on the channel, and maybe I'll review it. I'll see you in the next one.